permutation is how many ways we can arrange things. So the order matters, okay? So if I have A, B, and C, uh, one way we could write A, B, C is A, B, C. What's another way we could organize those letters, Anna? Okay, C, B, A. What's another way, Jake? B, C, A. What's another way, Thomas? B, A, C. What's another way, Holly? C, A, B. What's another way? A, we did A, B, C, so what else do we do? Okay, A, C, B. And you know it's all of them, right? All right. So that is six different ways. Now, when you get a whole bunch of choices, we're not going to write want to write out like all the different ways, right? There could be thousands and thousands of ways. So there is a shortcut, and what you want to do is however many things you're putting in order here. So I have three things, so I'm going to put three spaces. All right. In the first space. How many options are there that I could put in the first space? Three. All right. Now, once I place one of those letters there, there's going to be one less choice for the next space. So I either put A, B, or C here. So how many choices do I have to put in the second spot? Two. Two. Exactly. Two more. Now, if I put one thing here and one thing here, there's only one thing left to put here. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Okay, so that's the faster way to do it. And there's this really cool thing that you can learn in math. 3. It doesn't really mean that. Um, so 3 factorial, it actually doesn't mean you're excited about it like in English. Uh, but this little thing means factorial. And that means 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? So if I wrote 10, what would that mean? 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? That's what factorial means all the way down. All right. Let's try another one. In how many different orders can nine objects be arranged in a row? Jacob. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to add this in here. 9P9. We have nine things, and we are choosing all nine of them. So you have to do that first on every problem, okay? Nine things, choosing all nine. So that is equal to 9 factorial, or 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. There's a button on most calculators that does this for you, where you don't actually have to type in every single thing, right? So if you can find that button, we can look for it. And then you get an answer. And we won't write this one down, because you guys can see that later. All right. Now we have a different type of question. So we just did 9 choose 9, and the first slide would have been 3 choose 3. We did all three of them, OK? This one says, in how many different orders can five of the nine objects be arranged in a row? So in the last problem, we chose all nine of them, right? In this problem, I'm only picking five out of my nine options. So I'm going to have five slots. And you cannot use nine factorial this time, all right? So out of the nine things, I'm only choosing five. So how many choices do I have for the first slot? Nine. I put something there. How many choices for the second one? Eight. I put something there. How many for the next one? Good. Good. Now we stop here because it doesn't go all the way down because I only chose out of five. So then you have to do in your calculator. This one, you don't have a shortcut. You have to do nine times eight times seven times six times five. And your first thing needs to say nine P five. So we're starting with nine. And we're only choosing five of them. How many arrangements can be made? Okay. And whatever that is, we put our answer down. 